Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. I want to show you guys how to work with the textures, the materials here on the blender. How you can add textures or materials, whatever you want to call it, you want to call it, to your meshes. So <coughs> I'm gonna leave uh, the cube here. Uh, I'm gonna go into the add mode. I'm gonna create a simple gun, something quick. So I'm gonna scale this a little bit. So I can make it a lot bigger. There we go. I'm just gonna make a simple gun. I'm gonna use the K here for the knife so I can cut these. K again so I can cut these. There we go. And now I'm gonna pull this one down. I'm gonna screw it so I can pull on my back. <coughs> now Come on, really? You're not doing this to me, huh? Knife again. Extrude. Okay. That's the way you want to work, huh? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're still giving me this troll. Let me see what happened here. Okay, I know what happened. How bad? Knife and knife, and now I'm going to select these four parts to extrude this out. Now, the zoom, I can pull it back a little bit. Also, these two. So, now we have a simple hang on. Now, let's say that I want to insert some textures to this. For that, we're going to open another window. We're going to click here on UV Map Editor. We're going to select all the object, all the mesh. For this here, we have the material. We need to change this to UV. Now we need to change the image, image and movie. Okay, so we're here. We're good here. And now we need to go to bacon. And let's leave this like it is right now. Okay, now press uh, select your your mesh. Press the U and click on Smart UV Project. So I'm gonna put a zero. Here. I'm gonna leave it like this zero here. Okay. So we have our parts. And here I'm gonna create a new. I'm going to start here 2048 and 2048. Okay. So now it is like really, really big. Now let me work with the shape again. So we're going to put 10, point 10. Okay. Now point 20. U, Smart UE Project, point 20. There we go. And now on the bake, we need to choose ambient inclusion. And for the margins, I'm gonna put 10 only. Now hit the bake button. It's baking up, it's creating the textures for that gun, for the, every part that it has on the gun. Um, let me move the light here. Just wanna put it somewhere else. I'm gonna pull it like maybe over here. My bad. Let's pull it wrong. There we go. And I'm choose again my mesh. I'm going to add mode again, selecting everything and baking again. Now as you can see we have our textures out from the mesh so you can edit them on a uh, graphic software like GIMP, uh, Photoshop, Paint Shop and other software like that. Now we need to save this. First of all I'm going to put here uh, handgun text from texture. Now I'm going to choose image, save as image. I'm going to put it on my pictures. Put here handgun text. 
and I have just saved my text. Now I'm going to GIMP. <coughs> going to open up GIMP. This is a free graphic software editor. Now I'm going to my pictures. Now I'm going to copy that from dragging. There you go. And now I'm going to ch check which texture I'm going to add. I'm going to add this one here. That's too little. I'm not working with little textures. Do, do. Let's take on oh, maybe the carbon fiber. Should work. Yeah, it should. Okay, so let's put it here. Now let's duplicate the layer here. Now let's duplicate the layer again. One more time. Oh, my bad. Duplicate layer. There you go. I'm just going to insert it just like that. So now we're going to merge down. So we can merge with every layer that we have. There we go. And now we're going to the mode. We're going to change this to overlay. Now let's duplicate the layer for the texture. One more time. There we go. Now we are going to export the layer. I'm going to put here hang on text carbon. Carbon. Export. Now I can close this without saving. I'm not working with it anymore. I can close this here. Now let's put this import the image, replacing it. Click on image, click on replace image. Find your texture. Carbon. Here it is. And now, if you get out from the other mode, turn here your texturing. You can see the texture on your gun. It's looking really nice like this. But this is the simple way to add textures two meshes that has different parts like uh, maybe a character has a uh, pants, a uh, shirt, uh, I don't know, whatever else you have, glasses, if you have a hat or something on the character, if it's a car, you can separ uh, build apart every part, like let's say the wheels, uh, the lights, everything that it has, you can just choose to take it apart and then add your own texture to it and then you just need to import that uh, picture file back into Blender and it will give the texture to your mesh. Now let's start the new one. Now let's say I want to delete this because I want to add it to the plane. We got a couple of ways to make textures to add textures here to mate uh, materials so you can use them on the Blender render and on the Blender game and on the Cycle render. For now I'm going to work with the Blender render at the moment and then I'm going to teach you guys how to work with the textures or the materials for the Blender game. For the Blender render, let's create a plane. I'm going to scale this on the other mode. Now I'm going to go to Materials. Choose this plane. That's going to be Shade Lits. So we don't have li uh, the lights uh, disturbing the image. And then we're going to the texture here. I'm going to choose new. I'm going to change this to image or movie. And for the mapping coordinates, we need to change it to UV. Now here on the top, we will go into the UV edit tab. And here we will insert our uh image file um let's go to image open image let's go to pictures and let's say that i want to use maybe uh earl the 
let's put here ground it's gonna be ground texture so for that we're gonna choose the ground pictures ground and as you can see we have the ground already inserted here so to see it here on your right window you need to ch change this from solid to texture so you can see the texture on it yes you can see we can see the texture now so I'm going to change the window back again to the default and here I'm going to put the same thing I'm going to change from solid to texture and from here you can see your texture now let's render the image oh my bad gonna render the image get out of the edit mode thank you okay so something is wrong here doesn't want to show me the image rendered supposed to supposed to show it but it's not showing it to me I don't know why so we go back to the UV editing. Uh, right now we have the texture here it's supposed to be working really fine. I don't know what's wrong with it. Go into the object mode. So I'm gonna render this here. It's supposed to show your texture here. Something is wrong with the blender today. I'm having trouble with the blender, but that's the way it works here. So I'm going back to the default mode. I'm going to the texture. I'm going to open. Oh, it has it right here. Let's go to the UV editing again. Has the ground selected. It's supposed to be no problem here. Render, no. It's texture, open. Pictures, ground. Render. There we go. I forgot about that part. You need to insert your image from here, from the texture properties here you cannot insert the texture from the UV editing mode from here on the bottom you need to go first to the properties of your textures and this is right here on this right panel that you have here texture then you need to change your type to image or movie then you need to choose uh, on the mapping coordinates you need to change this to UV and next you need to open your image file so from here let's render it there we go so we need to go back a little bit with the camera because the camera is too close we need to pull this back and up and render up render down this is camera so depending where the camera is this is how he's gonna render your image there we go now new reload another way that you can use your uh, images to add it to the games uh, at least uh, in the last update for the blender you can drag in blender game if you're creating a game if you're using a mesh plane a box cube a cylinder something let's try here a plane at a most scale So I'm gonna scale this a bit more. There we go. From here, you don't need to work with the UV. The only thing you need to work here is first of all you need to change it to texture. After that, just get your file, the texture that you will be adding, just drag and drop to your plane or your mesh. And as you can see, we have our picture here I'm going to scale this uh, X there we go so as you can see we have our picture here inserted into the plane now this is the easiest way if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna be working with the blender game uh, so you can render it and you will see the image with no problem at all now let's add one more item here I'm gonna add a cylinder uh, sphere. I'm gonna add a sphere, UV sphere. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna go into the edit mode. I'm going to uh, to expand this to so scale it. And now, same thing. I'm going to add another 
picture or texture that I may have on my computer. So I got a lot of penguins there. No, I don't want to add penguins to all those boxes. Let me delete this. Let me get something straight, like a box or something. So we will add a cube. We will go to the other mode. We will scale this. And now we will put the freaking penguins on the box. Here we go. Over here. Over here. With any part that you add your uh, picture, it will add the picture to all the box. But we cannot see it because the light is like on this side only. So if we pull up the light, you will see that the picture is all around the box. Now that's the easiest way to make uh, your textures go on to meshes that you may have for your game. So if you start your game engine, you can see your materials, your pictures, or whatever you have. If you're building a wall, a car, a building, a gun, whatever it is. Um, I think that should cover up all that is, uh, is about the UV and the texturing for the Blender software. Uh, I'll be teaching you guys really soon how to work with uh, with the textures and everything, exporting the textures and your meshes outside the Blender so you can use them on the Unreal Engine. So I hope to see you guys on our next tutorial. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. See you guys next time. Bye.